Hey everyone! Today I'm going to open up the Jurassic World Dilophosaurus. This is in the Growlers line, which means it has electronic lights and sounds. Let's take a look at the packaging for a minute. First of all, I noticed it came with this weird cardboard thing that kind of holds the tail up, but it doesn't really need it. So you can take that off if you just want to display it in the packaging, like this. Okay, it is for ages 4 plus. Growling action. It's got lights. It comes with batteries. Let's see what's on the side here. On the other side, more information about the batteries. On the back, it's got Froge's Fright for Survival, and it's got some pictures, really nice pictures. Launching Venom projectile, fantasy scene. It's got some information down here. I'll just slowly go across it, but you can pause it if you need to read it. Warnings, where it's made, and the uh, websites. Let's see, we got the barcode and more information about where it's made, countries, there's a weird little serial number right there, shows you some other dinosaurs you can buy. Okay, I think that's it for the packaging. Let's cut this open because I think there's a, a um, instruction sheet on the inside, you can hear it. So I'm going to try to get that out. Okay, these small dinosaurs usually just have the two pieces of tape. Okay, let's take a quick look at the piece of paper that they give you. Okay, it's got a nice drawing. And let's see. Uh, let's start at the beginning. It tells you the instructions of how to use it and how to replace the batteries. And some stuff over here, about the batteries and other stuff. And let's see, it's over here, more information. This is mostly about the batteries, but I will show it to you just in case. It's a little bit small. All right, let's get the dinosaur out. Okay, we have some twist ties. These are the paper kinds. Alright, got those untied. Let's take this Dilophosaurus out. I guess I'm going to have to mess up the package and get this out. Um, I could cut it. That's what I would usually do. So I would just it's a little bit loose, actually, right here. I'll just cut it. Okay, there we go. All right. Okay, here we have, let's check out the dinosaur. Nice Jurassic World logo. Let's check out the face. Okay, the eyes. Very cool. It's got that nice white dot for a shine and a pupil and the rest of it is just kind of an orange color. A dark orange red. Same on this side. It's got a black outline around the eye. It's got really nice two color paint on the Oh! It's got two color paint on the face. And uh, it's got an extra color on the frill here. It's got a tan along with the brown and green of the face. Um, this almost seems like the same color as this, but not quite. Maybe just slightly different on the teeth. A little bit more white. The inside of the mouth is pink, and it's got that hole for the Venom toy accessory. Let's see, back of the frill is detailed. Same as the neck. It's got some pretty good skin texture on the body. Little fingers. The plastic is pretty hard, but it's not brittle. If you drop this on the floor, it's not going to crack. Let's see, the tail. Here's some a stamp. Let's see if the camera will focus. 2015 Hasbro. The tail is the same type of plastic, slightly bendable. 
The legs are the same. Nice claws. A little extra toe right there, or dew claw, or whatever you call it. Bottom of the feet are not textured. Um, let's see, how poseable is it? The arms can go all the way around. The legs... Oh, there's the other sound. Alright, so... The legs can almost go around except for the body gets in the way. So it's pretty poseable. Actually, it doesn't... That's about as far up as it goes because of the body right here. Like that. That's, that's as much as it can bend down. Like that. Alright, so let's check out the sounds. Where's the speaker hole? There's the light. I'll turn off the lights in a minute so you can see this brighter. There's the other sound. And the speaker, speaker hole sound. All right, it sounds really good. Makes those cute sounds from the first movie. All right, so let's see. Let's check out the spinning action. Okay. I didn't read the instructions even though I showed them to you. Oh, very good. It spits pretty far. Let's see. I like this a lot. Okay, I just had to go get the projectile. The spit. This is very cool. I like the, the pose. I like the colors and the paint. Got the frill action going on. Oh, this is really cool toy. This is probably the best growler. Well, I don't know the the Cer the Ceratosaurus was pretty cool too. But this one's really nice. I think I like this one the best. Okay, this is kind of downhill, so his uh, her frill is kind of falling forward. If we turn it this way, it's more stable. All right, this is. Oh, let's let's check out the uh, thing. Let me turn off the lights. Let's see. Hold on. Oh, that's a little bit too dark. I don't know if you could, you can't see the dinosaur. All right, here's the light. Very nice. It doesn't light up when it roars. I don't think. All right, I think we need a little bit of light by phone. So let's check this out now. Now you can see the dinosaur. You don't want to see that coming at you at night time. All right, let's turn on the lights. All right, I like this. I would recommend this to anyone. Anyone who likes dinosaurs or Jurassic Park or Jurassic World, unless they're the kind of person that's like, oh, Dilophosaurus isn't supposed to have frills. That's just a Jurassic Park creation. Well, so it's not for them. But this is for anyone else because this is a super awesome toy. And I hope you subscribe to see when I put out new videos. And thanks for watching. Bye.